basically um, a lot of people hear about like frog tape or maybe this edge lock tape um see how it says here seals out paint edge lock technology so basically what that is is so that the, the paint if you're painting up here and your tape is down lower that it doesn't bleed through the tape um at all because sometimes it bleeds through and it doesn't completely keep the paint out so uh, for that reason they came out with products like this like this frog tape that um supposed to uh if you, if you zoom in right here on the picture it shows how the frog tape will be a nice straight line and without the frog tape um what they're referring to is like uh like this blue tape um made by 3m you know it's it's showing how it, it, the bleed through right there i don't know if you can see that uh, but all oh, shadows but it shows it shows how it, it the bleed through and then right here how it's a nice straight line so um so they make products like that and this and this is supposed to do the same the same thing and if you if you look at the tape itself instead of it just being all blue like that it's gonna have some words in green on it um and it's and it's gonna uh basically say edge lock or multi-surface whatever it's gonna say it has this writing on there um so you know that it's not just the regular blue one um so so those are those are the like edge lock type of, of tape you could also just use just regular blue painters tape this is like the original painters tape and the idea here is basically um it still works just as well um yes there is some bleed through if you put it on real heavy if you're kind of light about your paint and you put your tape on good um it should work um you don't necessarily need to use one of these other products but um but they they also work so i mean depending if you want to spend the money on it and how nice you want it to come out you know you could use these, these products as opposed to something like this um i like when i when i do use painter's tape generally if i can i like to go with the wider one um because you know if you're if you're dealing with something skinnier like this you know you just don't have uh enough enough paint sometimes to to uh, feather your paint out to where it's not so thick and it's not going to bleed through you know so um you can use a thicker a wider tape that i mean that's what i normally try to keep on hand um another thing is if you're putting your tape on so so these so so all these we normally use on like a latex paint which is normally like a standard paint that's on most interior uh walls in, in houses and stuff but basically um if you're putting it on like a surface that's stained like maybe a handrail going up some stairs it's stained wood or cabinetry that's stained um what you want to use is is this neon green tape um that uh let's see here it says in different languages but right here is english um very strong adhesive five day clean removal concrete brick stucco rough wood and lacquer coating so um, this is what you're supposed to use on a lacquer or um, concrete for that matter but um, it's it's got a very strong adhesive on it and you want to take it off within five days to and clean up that area to remove any of the uh, to remove any of the residue from the tape so there's other tapes like this one which is for um exterior surfaces okay so it's gonna be um, uh, a really high uh, very strong adhesive as well and this one is a 10 day clean removal so you want to make sure to have this taken off and cleaned up within 10 days um, otherwise that residue stays on there and it's and you can't really it's really hard to clean off um, so if you don't want the residue to be like on your windows maybe if you're if you're taking them off before painting the exterior of your house you don't want to leave your windows 
uh, the plastic maybe tape that the, the tape is holding on up on there for weeks at a time because um, it's going to leave a residue on your windows and you don't necessarily want to use like a duct tape uh, this is just duct tape it's yellow but it's just like the gray ones or any color duct tape um, this is going to leave a residue on that on that window um, if you leave it on there for too long so um, you want to be aware of that um, so there you guys go hope this helps Oops. hope you guys got some like good information out of this if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one <laughs>